Cyber Sunday is just six days away. It's good old J.R. Jim Ross and my Hall of Fame partner, Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. And the right to be named number one contender for Cyber Sunday is on the line tonight. Yeah, in a last man standing match. And the championship match is less than a week away. It seems to be the only way to settle this bizarre situation. Yeah, but it pretty much guarantees that whoever wins tonight will lose at Cyber Sunday. What started out as a straightforward run at the championship has turned into a nightmare for the number one contender. And this last man standing match is his one and only chance to take care of business. If he loses, he can kiss his girl and his championship match goodbye. Well, it seems like he's accepted the challenge, but where's Tory? I've got the feeling that if he wins this last man standing match, we might not find out. You're looking. Welcome to Raw, ladies and gentlemen. We are coming to you live tonight from Tar Heelia, from Raleigh, North Carolina. We should have booked this show for an outdoor arena, JR, because Raw's gonna blow the roof off this place tonight. You're not kidding, King. Raleigh is Raw country for sure, and these fans are in for the night of their lives. I've got a feeling that this has all the makings of an instant classic. That's probably just gas, JR. <laughs> Well, I did have some good old Oklahoma barbecue before tonight's show, but I don't think that's it, King. I think we're going to find out just how much punishment the human body can withstand here. Oh, boy. These top rope moves can go either way. You're not going to get him with that one. Pretty obvious which way this one's gonna go, JR. Well, from my perspective, this is still anybody's match. I'd like to see things from your perspective, <laughs> JR, but I'd have to get my head out of my rear end first. And Lord knows it's been up there for so long that that would be no easy feat. What a reversal! Hook the turnbuckle, he goes! I hope he knows what he's doing! I think these superstars are getting some feedback from the crowd, JR. Nothing wrong with that, King. That's what we'd like to hear. I've had many opportunities to see Carlito up close and in person. And I have to tell you, I'm impressed with what this kid brings to the table. What's that exactly? A bunch of half-chewed apples? What's so cool about that? I'll tell you what's cool, King. And that's the charisma and athletic ability of this second-generation superstar. Sorry, JR, but I just don't see it. Maybe they'll get it right with the third generation. He's going up, JR. This could be big. Uh. This is raw action at its finest. That's why Raw is the number one brand of sports entertainment. You got that right, JR. You're not going to see this kind of action on SmackDown. Not on SmackDown or anywhere else. There's nothing else out there that can come close to the excitement of seeing the Raw superstars perform live. I don't understand why you like Carlito so much, JR. What? Did he lie to you and tell you that you were cool or something? I've never been accused of being cool by Carlito or anyone else, King. Quite frankly, I'm not sure I know cool. I hope on the sooner backside. I think this crowd's giving these superstars a piece of their minds, King. Are you right. sure they can afford it, JR? Two. Three. Oh, here we go. What a jerk. How about continuing the match? Five. I don't think he's in any hurry Six. to end this one, King. And I don't think the crowd wants it to end Eight. either. Nine. You're not going to win a match by insulting Ten. your opponent. 
No, but having the crowd behind you can certainly get the adrenaline pumping. I don't think anyone's happier about the outcome of this match than this young woman right here. You can say that again. And I hope he's got something left in the tank because she looks to be in a celebrating mood. Congratulations, but I've got to say, you don't look like you've got much left. Well, I hate to agree with him, but... You better not use this as an excuse when I beat you this Sunday. You got me?